We'll do a brief video on gold, gold price, gold price prediction. We've got a daily chart here of gold from the Comex Exchange of Futures Contracts. We've got a five minute, excuse me, a five day moving average in green, a 20 day moving average in red, and a 200 day moving average in blue. You can't see it on this chart, but gold is down $23 today. It's the afternoon, 3 p.m. of October 19th, down $23 consistently making new lows throughout the day and uh, made a high of 1659 currently at 1632 the the bottom line analysis for gold is that it is in a sell-off trying to find some support we got a low down to about 1622 that was set back here on the 28th of october and we're looking now at a low of 1632 on the day so we're testing down going to get down probably if it goes much lower here we're going to get down into the 20s probably 20 1626 1625 somewhere around in there and looking for support there to get a rally up to probably around the to be to not really be aggressive about it probably 1690 level at a minimum if this if this price gets some support if it doesn't get the price support that we're looking for then we're going to make new lows but what we're trying to do is find some support down here in the 1620s area 1624 to 1628 catch that support, get the price above the five day and the 20 day moving average, and then rally on up headed towards the 1700 level. Is that going to happen? I don't know. It's all my opinion, all for entertainment purposes only. But if we don't violate this 1622 level, that's my short term forecast that we're going to get ourselves above minimum above uh, 1675. And again, all my opinion for entertainment purposes only. But if we violate this 1622, that's going to be really negative for gold because there's we really should be going the opposite direction for gold. And you can see we're hovering right around, the, this is weeks now, 200 week moving average. It's not a disaster yet for gold. And if it catches support here, like it did back here in August of 18, you can see it flirted with the 200 and then rallied back up. It was flat here. Right now, it's still a rising 200-week moving average. So it's not a, not a disaster, but it's got to get some support here and rally up. If it breaks the 1622 level, then gold has got its next major support level down here at the 1450 level. I'm not forecasting that, but that's what's going on in terms of a technical picture. So let's take a look real quick, see what RBAM Research says about it. We put out gold uh, entry prices every morning before 7 a.m. Let's find them here right now. These are out for the 19th this morning. Today's the 19th of October. Put them out before 7 a.m. You can get them uh, after 6 p.m. the night before. Usually if you head over to rbamresearch.com and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But these are 1, 2, 5, 10 and 20 day holding periods. And uh, these are buys put out here today. The second row of buys is a higher probability of wins, but the prices are not as frequently touched. All, all uh, for entertainment purposes only, and of course, all hypothetical. But at the one day we're looking at, let's see if we could have got in there. So the one's been touched and 1655. So all of these are live and all have been touched. And uh, we'd have to take a look trade by trade to see if we could have made some money today already. The market has been in significant sell-off pretty much all day, but there's probably been little rallies in here that you might have gotten out of some of these. Um, it looks like you probably could have got out of the one, the 1642 for a profit already, uh, and it's debatable if you could have got out of the other ones already today at a profit. Doesn't look like it rallied back up that far. But these are all live, and of course, um, one day hold means get in today, assuming your own analysis says it's a good idea. Get out tomorrow just before close at a loss or take your profits sooner if you can get them. And that's the same way all across, all the way across 20 day hold would mean get in today, assuming your own analysis says it's a good idea. Get out at the end of 20 trading days at a loss, worst case, or take your profits as soon as you can get them. So these are still, uh, these are all live, but they're still um, uh, in process. And of course, again, all for entertainment purposes only. Can't use them for anything other than entertainment. You have to trade at your own risk and you should always use your own analysis. You can get access to all of this every morning before 7 a.m. at rbamresearch.com, absolutely free, no credit card required. It's a link in the description below. You just head over to RBAM Research and put in your email address and get free access to everything, including 190 stocks, the major Forex pairs, BTC crypto, and the most liquid futures contracts, including gold all updated before 7 a.m. But if you try after 6 p.m. the night before, you'll usually get them. Again, all for entertainment purposes only. Can't use them for anything other than entertainment, including our entry prices and our commentary. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that as well. And if you have a great comment for us, we'd love to hear it in the comment section below.